first question, arrange the options and sequence as a part of surgical intervention for DDH. Uh, basically, I want you to understand that when we talk about management of DDH, it is always an age-wise management. Now, when I say it is an age-wise management, that simply means 0 to 6 months, 6 to 18 months, more than 18 months. Now, this age group is something in which we have to surgically reduce the hip because close reduction becomes very difficult. And when we do that, the first thing is we have to expose that area. How do we expose that area? We expose that by doing capsule autumn. That's the first thing. The second thing is once you open the capsule, you enter inside the hip joint, but you have to locate the head, you have to locate the scapula because they are dislocated. So you locate the scapulum or the head by tracing a ligament that is connecting both of the ligamentum teres. Then you put the head back into the scapulum. Yes, you put the head back into the scapulum, and then you do a derotation osteotomy so that <coughs> it doesn't dislocate again. So technically, the sequence is A followed by B followed by C followed by D. All right. So this is the ideal sequence. Now moving over to the next. Uh, question identify the splint so first of all you have to understand that in this splint you know they have tied a strap here they have tied a strap here and they have uh, taken the wrist into passive extension and not only they have taken into passive extension but they have applied something like that and these are probably bands which are connected to the fingers now what they do is in this they ask the patient to uh, flex the wrist and when the patient flexes the wrist, these rubber bands, they come into the play. Okay, these rubber bands, they come into the play and they take the finger into uh, extension. So this continuous movement of flexion and extension, flexion and extension makes it a dynamic cock-up splint. So it makes it a cock-up splint and that to a dynamic cock-up splint. Question 3. A boy fell from the height on an outstretched hand. The x-ray is similar to the one shown below. Most likely diagnosis. So, but obviously this is radius. Sorry, but obviously this is ulna. But obviously this is radius. So, you have a fracture at the shaft of the radius. This fracture at the shaft of the radius is at the junction of the middle and distal one third of the shaft of the radius. Plus, there is a distal radio ulna joint disruption. You can very well see that. So this is a Galeazzi fracture or reverse Monteria fracture or Piedmont fracture. So this is Galeazzi or reverse Monteria or Piedmont fracture. Regarding CTV, we have to find it out. It is undoubtedly clear that male-female ratio is 2 is to 1 and bilaterality is around 60%. <coughs> it's true. With positive technique, honestly, it is 90 to 95%, so it's true. Fourth foot is adducted and supinated. Yes, it is again true. The, the sequence is C A V E. So adduction is there, inversion is supination, basically nothing. Inversion is supination of the foot. Equinus should be corrected first. No, the sequence of correction is cavus followed by varus followed by equinus. So equinus should be corrected first is wrong. So A B C are correct. A B C are correct. If you see this first image, second, okay, if you see the second image, you can see the diaphyseal fracture, you can see the deformity, you can see the different stages of healing, this is osteogenesis imperfecta, there is no doubt about it. If you see this hyperlaxity of the ligament, this is clearly Marfan syndrome. So, 2 is corresponding to A, uh, C is, 4 is corresponding to C, 2 is A, 4 is C, 2 is A, okay. 4 is C. So I think as of now there should not be any confusion, but let's see. This is <coughs> triple field. You can see the scoliosis, the short web neck, the spindle deformity. So uh, 1 is basically B. 1 is basically B. So now D is 3. So there is only one option left. D is 3. So answer is A. Done. Alright, so with this we come towards the end of this discussion. I wish you all the best for your exams ahead. God bless. Thank you so much for that.